Once you have connected to the My eBox, the next step is to configure the unit's parameters. To do this, press the drop-down menu in the top left area. To start programming the analyzer, press the setup menu and various sub-menus will be displayed for ease of configuration. The BIOS menu allows you to configure all of the parameters relating to the unit, e.g. the name of the unit, the color codes per phase according to the country, the time and date, with the option for synchronization using an NTP time server. When installing more than one unit, synchronization helps to establish the cause effect of an event within a single installation. It is also possible to configure the ratio so that the unit stores the cost of the energy in any currency and the CO2 emissions, both for consumption and generation. And for ISO 50001 certifications. And for ISO 50001 certifications. Once the configuration is complete, press the Confirm button, tick sign, in the top right corner to save the changes. When you return to the installation menu, you can access the current clamps submenu to configure the scale of the various sensors and the phase, neutral and leakage clamps. By accessing the installation menu and pressing installation setup, you can configure parameters such as the name of the installation or the type of circuit being measured. It is also possible to change the memory format, rotating or linear, or values such as the primary and secondary voltage. Finally, you can enter the rated voltage and frequency of your installation so that the unit has a point of reference when detecting quality events such as overvoltages. If you return to the installation menu, you can access the current clamps submenu where you can configure the scale of the various sensors and the phase, neutral and leakage clamps. The type of scale to select will be displayed automatically according to the type of clamp that is connected. Configuring the current clamps is that simple. The following field that can be configured is the phase sequence. If an incorrect physical connection has been made in the unit, this can be corrected from this menu, again avoiding any electrical hazards when handling the unit that is connected to the mains. Resolving problems with connections from this menu is described in greater depth in the Case Study Phase Sequences video tutorial, as it is worth explaining in further detail. The Quality Events menu allows you to configure the thresholds of any power quality parameter such as overvoltages, gaps, interruptions or transient detection. Remember to save the changes by pressing the Confirm button tick symbol, located in the top right corner. The Communications menu allows you to configure all of the parameters relating to the connection method that is going to be used to connect to the unit. On the Wi-Fi menu, you can select the Direct Connection option, Access Point Mode, or connect it to one of the installation's routers by programming in Network Mode. If you select Network, you simply have to configure the name and the password of the network that the device will be connected to. Once connected, the unit will have connectivity to send data to the server in the cloud. On this menu, you can also configure the 3G connection. If you insert a SIM card with a public IP address into the unit and configure the user, password, APN and PIN number parameters, the unit will connect to the Internet via 3G. Remember to save the changes by pressing the Confirm button, tick symbol, located in the top right corner. If you enter the Granularities menu, you can configure the recording period for each variable individually. In this way, each variable can be recorded and integrated at a 1 second, 1, 5 or 15 minute, 1 hour or 1 day interval. For a more detailed study, it is possible to select different variables at 1 second intervals, such as voltage and current, and others every 15 minutes, e.g. power or energy, like an official billing meter does. Remember to save the changes by pressing the X in the top right corner. 
The inputs and alarms menu will be detailed in a specific case study tutorial to show the different configuration formats step by step. Finally, the firmware menu allows you to view the unit's current version and see whether there are any new updates. If there are, the user can decide to update the unit without needing to contact Circutor, provided that it has an internet connection. This sets it apart from traditional power analyzers, as the unit will always be updated with the latest available version, without needing to download updates onto a computer and upload them using a cable. Once the unit has been configured using the menus described above, it is then possible to start recording a file.